Stay tuned for a giveaway. You know what? I'm using my tongue. Three, two, one. Oh my God. You guys always ask me what my favorite and most profitable cheap trade-ups are, so today I'm going to show you the 10 absolute best ones that I know. Every single trade-up in today's video has over a 120% profitability or a 100% chance to profit, and they all cost less than $5. I promise you, these are the 10 best trade-ups you can find anywhere on the internet right now, so stick around to the end or you're going to miss out. Before I get into it, today's sponsor GamerPay wants to sponsor you with a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 fade for example. Currently the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay has no buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. Today's first trade up consists of 3 factory new mil spec skins from the Gamma case and 7 minimal wear mil spec skins from the Prisma 2 case below a 0.07 average flow. The easiest way to to do this one is by keeping the Gamma skins below a 0.029 float and the Prisma 2 skins below a 0.0875 float. Make sure to get the Gamma skins for 24 cents or less and the Prisma 2 skins for 10 cents or less. This trade-up will cost you around $1.42 total and has a 130.28% profitability after steam fees with a 100% chance to profit each time. Guys, this trade-up is literally less than $1.50 and there are no loss outcomes. The best outcome we can get is a factory new R8 reboot for $1.62 cents of profit. All right, boys, these are some of the 10 best trade-ups I've ever shown on my channel, and this is one of the best ones. 100% chance to profit and a 130% profitability. Obviously, we want to see that R8 reboot, but anything is good here. What's it going to be? Three, two, one, boom. Let's go. That's like the third or fourth best option, I think. 44 cents of profit right there. Let's go, boys. Good start to the video. Now, let me show you the other nine trade-ups. The second trade-up consists of 10 StatTrack minimal wear mil spec skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case below a 0.0921 average float. Make sure to get each skin for 22 cents or less. This trade-up costs $2.20 total and has a 138.64% profitability after steam fees with an 80% chance to profit each time. The only loss outcome here is the G3 Dream Glade, but the M4A1S and USPS will each make us over $2.50 of profit. On top of the insane 138% profitability, the reason that this trade-up is on the list is because the float is super easy to get. All these inputs below a 0.0921 average float, that's quite easy, and it's one of the highest profitability ones on the whole list too. So this is a overall amazing trade-up. We want to see one of the silenced weapons, but let's see what we get. 3, 2, 1, USPS or A1S. Uh, Third best option, still profit. 22 cents of profit, not the best. We could have had over $2 of profit, but that's still good. Cannot complain. The third trade-up consists of four stat track minimal wear and six stat track field tested mil spec skins from the Chroma 3 case below a 0.15 average float. The easiest way to do this is by getting the minimal wear skins below a 0.089 float and the field tested skins below a 0.19 float. Make sure to get the minimal wear skins for 37 cents or less and the field tested skins for 13 cents or less. This trade-up costs around $2.26 total and has a 139.38 profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. Three of the outcomes are great, but the best is the stat track minimal wear SSG ghost crusader for over $2 and 50 cents of profit. We have another straight banger of a trade up right here, just under 140% profitability, which is almost unheard of. Let's see what we get. 60% chance to profit 80% if you're on third party marketplaces, three, two, one, show us the scout. Oh, I thought it was a scout for some reason. I don't know why that baited me, but that's still really good. Over a dollar of profit on the XM. We love to see it. And this is such a clean XM skin too. The next trade up consists of five stat track minimal wear mil spec skins from the fracture case and five stat track field tested mil spec skins from the revolver case below a 0.15 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the fracture skins below a 0.1 float and the revolver skins below a 0.2 float. Make sure to get the fracture skins for 21 cents or less and the revolver skins for 29 cents or less. This trade up costs $2.50 total and has a 132.8% profitability after steam fees with a 54.55% chance to profit each time. Every single revolver case outcome is profitable with the best being the stat track minimal wear Negev power loader for over $9 of profit. We have another straight heater of a trade up right here. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best episodes I've ever done for profitable trade ups. These 10 trade ups are absolutely insane. 132% profitability on this one, but if we hit the best outcome, which is the Negev power loader, it's over $9 of profit. Show us the Negev. 
I've actually hit this one somewhat recently, so I probably won't hit it today, but we still have a 54 or 55% chance to profit. So let's see it right here. Show us some profit. Three, two, one, profit. Uh, that was not a profitable outcome, unfortunately. All of the revolver case outcomes would have been profit, but we sadly hit the fracture case. Unfortunate, but we had to lose at some point. The fifth trade-up consists of six stat track minimal wear mil spec skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case, and four stat track field tested mil spec skins from the Falchion case below a 0.1346 average float. The easiest way to do this is by getting the Dreams and Nightmares skins below a 0.09 float, and the Falchion skins below a 0.2 float. Make sure to get the Dreams and Nightmares skins for 21 cents or less, and the Falchion skins for 31 cents or less. Less. This trade-up costs $2.50 total and has a 126.4% profitability after steam fees with a 24% chance to profit each time. This is one of the riskiest trade-ups in today's video, but I had to include it because if you hit the 8% chance for the Stat Track Factory new Evil Damio, you'll make nearly $12 of profit. There's also an even more profitable version of this trade-up with 5 Dreams and Nightmares and 5 Falchion inputs, but the floats are harder to get. I'll show that version on screen now and leave a link to it in the description too. This is one of the riskier trade-ups in today's video, but for good reason. The reason it's on here is because if we hit the best option, it's for over $11 of profit. Show us the Falchion case, but more specifically, please show us the Evil Damio. Wouldn't mind a Ruby Poison Dart either. Show us the M4 though. Three, two, one, M4. Oh, I don't know why it baited me. This was the worst option, bro. Uh, it's like, almost two dollar loss right there but it's all right man i'm confident we're gonna profit in the rest of the video the next trade-up consists of 10 stat track minimal wear mil spec skins from the revolution case below 0.0875 average float make sure to get each input for 28 cents or less this trade-up costs around two dollars and 80 cents total and has an insane 144.29 percent profitability after steam fees with an 80 percent chance to profit each time the best outcome here is easily the stat track factory new m4 asaurus for over five dollars of profit we could easily make back all the money we've lost today in one click right here show us the m4 asaurus for over five dollars of profit three two gaben please one boom oh uh, that's still profit 28 cents of profit though not amazing but we didn't lose money on this one, I should say. We didn't lose money on this one. The seventh trade-up of today's video consists of 10 field-tested restricted skins from the Fracture case below a 0.2 average float. Make sure to get each input for 36 cents or less. This trade-up costs $3.60 total and has a 117.5% profitability after steam fees, which is the lowest on the list, but the trade-off is that it has a 100% chance to profit each time, with all three outcomes making you a profit. Hey, it's kind of hard to build suspense on a trade-up like this because we're profiting no matter what, but obviously we want to see that that Glock Vogue for the most profit. What's it gonna be today, Gaben? Show me the money. Let's go, best outcome. Let's go, baby. I love these fracture trade-ups. They're so good. You literally can't lose, like they're amazing. If you can get the low float inputs, definitely go try this out for yourself. I'm giving away a pair of field-tested Dual Berettas Marina. To enter the giveaway, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment what your favorite weapon to use in CS2 is. Plus, make sure you have your Steam trade link in your YouTube bio. The eighth trade-up consists of 10 field-tested restricted skins from the Rico oil case below a 0.1945 average float. Make sure to get each input for 43 cents or less. This trade-up costs around $4.30 total and has a 126.74% profitability after steam fees with a 67% chance to profit each time. Two of the three outcomes are profitable, but the best outcome is easily the minimal wear AK-47 ice cold for nearly $5 of profit. Two thirds chance to profit here and let's hope we have the sticker look on our side. Show us the AK ice cold for just under $5 of profit. Please, three, two, one, AK. Let's go, let's go. We hit the AK, that's insane, let's go. I think we're back, I think we're in the profit now. Not gonna lie, let's go, that's great. And we still have two more insane trade-ups to go. The ninth trade-up consists of four Stat Trek Factory new mil spec skins from the Chroma 3 case and six Stat Trek minimal wear mil spec skins from the Prisma 2 case below a 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the Chroma 3 skins below a 0.04 float and the Prisma 2 skins below a 0.09 float. Make sure to get the Chroma 3 skins for 90 cents or less and the Prisma 2 skins for 20 
22 cents or less. This trade-up costs just under $5 total and has a 128.46% profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. Six of the 10 outcomes are profitable, with the best outcome easily being the StatTrack Factory new SSG Ghost Crusader for over $7 of profit. There are a ton of different possible outcomes in this one, but luckily a lot of them are profitable. You know what though? I don't care about the other ones. I just want to see that SG Ghost Crusader in StatTrack Factory new condition. That thing is beautiful and it's over $7 of profit. Wouldn't mind to see an XM or a Galolo either. Please show me an SG. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, that's still profit, $1.84 of profit, but it wasn't quite an SG. Not bad at all though, I think this is like the fifth best option. Still profit though, we are in the green today. The final trade up of this video consists of four Star Trek Factory new mil spec skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case, and six Star Trek Minimal Wear mil spec skins from the Snake Bite case below 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the Dreams and Nightmare skins below 0.04 float and the Snake Bite skins below 0.09 float. Make sure to get the Dreams and Nightmare skins for 59 cents or less, and the Snake bite skins for 64 cents or less. This trade-up costs around $6.20 total and has a 134.35% profitability after steam fees with a 24% chance to profit each time. This trade-up only has two profitable outcomes, but the reason it's on this list is because of the 12% chance for the insane StatTrack Factory new AK-47 slate for over $30 of profit. There's also an even more profitable version of this trade-up with three dreams and nightmares and seven snake bite inputs, but the floats are definitely harder to get. You can see that on on screen now and I'll leave a link to it in the description too. Alright boys, this trade up is slightly out of that $5 price range, but I think it's fair because it's so insane. 134% profitability and we have a 12% chance to hit a 30 $2 AK skin. Stat Track Factory new AK slate, which is insane. Okay, it's actually like a $45 skin, but it's $32 of profit. Overall, though, 24% chance to profit on this. Show us the Deagle or show us the AK. I will accept nothing else. Gaben, it is time. Time for me to get an AK. My fingers are on my nips. I don't know how I'm going to press the button. You know what? I'm using my tongue. Three, two, one. Actually hit it off the tongue back. The tongue click. There's no way. There's no way the Star Trek Factory knew 12% chance of the tongue click. That's insane. I'm actually at a loss for words. No way. Stat Trek Factory new slate. Two fingers on the nips. One tongue on the click. There's no way. What a way to end it. You know what? We are heavily in the profit now. Now you know why I showed you this trade up. Let me quickly do the math and see how much money we made today. Boys, as you can see, these are the 10 new skins that we came out with and we profited $39.39 today. I'm not gonna lie. I knew we were coming out with some money today, but I was not expecting to come out with that much. These trade ups are absolutely insane. And that final trade up is bonkers. 12% chance at $32 of profit and we actually hit it with the tongue click. You know what? If you're still watching, smash that like button. That was absolutely insane. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.